What's going on, FN Nation? John Pepper here with the James Grande. Welcome to the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS podcast and live stream recording here for Wednesday, seven game main slate. James recording here on Tuesday evening, uh, preparing ourselves for the seven game slate. We've got a handful of teams on back to backs, uh, a pretty loaded slate in terms of top end talent. We do know already uh, that Chai Gilgis Alexander will be ruled out for this game. They announced that one early. Uh, playing on Tuesday, sitting the second end of a back-to-back here. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's been a while since I've scrolled down uh, the DraftKings slate here and not seen a ton of injury news. So uh, yeah, you wait. Yeah, you, you better take you better take that back I right know. now. I'm just saying, like, John, if Tuesday if Tuesday was any indication for what's to come, which it is, um, we are in March basketball, so you better bite your tongue because you know what's coming. Uh, by the time this is released. Nothing is going to be relevant because everything's everyone's going to be ruled out. Um, so I, I'm just, I'm cutting you off because let, not that I don't. I'm not trying to jinx it. I'm just saying what's happening. You know. No, you're jinxing it. No, I mean you're not jinxing it, but you're jinx like you're yeah. jinxing it. I don't yeah. know how to say it. you're just jinxing. It. I'm just saying. Usually we come on here and I'm scrolling down the util <laughs> section and everybody's in red. Uh, yeah. Zion is like the first guy outside of the top seven k. Uh, that is already ruled out. Now, we know, of course, SGA is ruled out. DraftKings here hasn't updated that one quite yet on this slate, at least. But, um, yeah, knock on wood here. Uh, relatively healthy slate. Loaded top-end guys. Luka, Jokic, Lillard, Tatum all over 10K. We're still getting an under 10K Durant. Uh, Kyrie Irving's here at 94. Donovan Mitchell off a big game. Uh, Jalen Brown, obviously, off of his huge game. Tatum's back here, though, going up against Portland. Um, yeah, should be a fun slate, man. Should be a fun slate. Um, uh, we don't actually have a lot of spreads at the current recording. Um, two twelve and a half total in Cleveland, Miami. No surprise there. Miami getting a point and a half at home. Boston, despite their struggles, 10 and a half point favorites at home, two twenty nine and a half total there. Um, Denver, eight and a half point home favorites against the Bulls. Uh, those are the only three games we currently have. Um, I think, you know, there's Dallas on a back-to-back, so they're not going to release that spread. Washington right. on a back-to-back, they're not going to release that spread. We don't know who's going to play for OKC. We do know Jalen Williams and SGA both out. Um, so no spread in that game. And then Toronto Clippers, we never know who the, who's going to play for the Clippers. So right. um, no no surprise um, that we don't have a lot of spreads. But it should be a fun slate, uh, like you mentioned. And, and point guard is a very interesting position I mean, um, there's one spread. There's one price here that we're. I I, I just want to jump to. Uh, is it Trey Young? Trey at Young's eighty eight hundred dollars here. I mean, yeah, yeah. I I don't I don't know what we're. I mean, I get it. The last two games, thirty five and thirty seven fantasy points, but he had twenty five actual against Miami. Both were against Miami. Um, as Paolo Boncaro hits a three here, good news for those who took the over nineteen and a half. <laughs> this guy. See, if you don't tilt it, see. <laughs> And this is before. If you don't tilt it, John, yeah, they will come, right? It's like you, you know, don't if you don't together, tilt it, they will come. come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, guy needed 14 points in the second half to get there after a really bad. Hey, hey, start. he did. He got it, right? He got. He got there. Can't mm-hmm. can't he complain. Can't complain. Uh, back to the Wednesday slate here. Uh, yeah, Trey Young does not deserve to be 8,800 no, uh, dollars. No I'm scrolling. First time all season he's been under 9K. Um, I almost want to lock him in now. Going up against yep. like this is. As good as we've touted Diddle on right, uh, Trey Young four games ago against Washington had 31 actual in that game, 45 fantasy yep. points. Yeah. Um, I'm just clicking the button now. Usually we build the lineups at the end, but every so often there's just that like anomaly price. Yeah, that pri- that that too good to be true price, and I think Trey yep. Young's at that too good to be true price. So I'm gonna plug him in. Uh, we can obviously make adjustments if we need to as we move along on the podcast. Back up to the top, though. Luka Doncic here at 11.8. <laughs> Damian Lillard's at 11.5. Uh, your top two price guards here. Lillard run up against Boston. Luka on the back-to-back here against the Pelicans. On a slate like this, do you find yourself looking to spend up on either two guards? I mean, look, we're going to get to a point every slate where you can um, because, it, uh, as Tuesday indicated, every team ruled out about like, three players. So right. every team had about three guys under 5k that you could use in your lineup and it was all about like which was the best selection clearly milwaukee scoring 135 points 
that was the best selection for your bang for your buck so far, right? Um, so, like, you can. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting to Doncic. Um, New Orleans has been a train wreck of late. You know, nothing suggests they're going to get any better unless Zion returns. Uh, and Lillard is seemingly just going to be a flamethrower against anyone, anything that is in front of him. Yeah. Um, and yes, Boston has a lot of good defenders. I don't know if it matters at this point. <laughs> like, At least just... all the guards should be healthy. You know, right. the, the one thing during the, the Boston, Boston's recent losing streak, uh, which you were to, if you were to ever give them some sort of pass, is that some combination of like Malcolm Brogdon, Jason Tatum, Al Horford, Robert Williams have all been out since the All-Star right. break in various capacities. They've never been fully 100%. They're still going to be without Robert Williams here for the next week or so. But at, at least getting Brogdon back, it, I feel like it just helps them. I mean, he's a really good player. So taking him out of the yes. rotation there, you know, it just impacts things. They, 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 they should have beaten Cleveland. I'm sure everybody's seen the Grant Williams highlights by now. Yep. Ty ball game gets fouled, says, hey, I'm going to hit both of these, clanks them both, and they lose an OT. So I said it about five times. Yeah. He didn't just say it once. Yeah. Like I'm going to hit these. I'm going to hit these both. I'm going to hit these both. Doesn't needed only one. Only needed to hit one. I know. M- miss them both. He um, should have said, I'm going to hit one of two. I'm going to yeah, hit one of two. I'm yeah, one or, of two. or reverse jinx. Like, I'm going to miss both of these. I'm going to have a free throw. Right. Anyways, off of that topic. Um, again, we're looking at this slate here. I already like Trey Young at $8,800. You can certainly play Lillard or Luka if you want. I, again, don't think Luka's got enough consistency to hit the ceiling and to sell 11 8 Like I said the other day, uh, he did almost go for 70. We'll see what he does tonight. Maybe he'll be proven wrong once again. Um, but... Yeah, for me, I'm not spending all the way up here. If I'm looking in the mid-tier range, uh, we know there's going to be some value here. We already know SGA is ruled out. <sighs> you know, uh, Garland at 83, Jamal Murray against Chicago at 78 feels like a really good number to get to there. Yep. Um, Giddy had two back-to-back 50 fantasy point games. Can we trust the minutes on a back-to-back? Well, yes, we'll see what happens tonight and how many minutes he plays. Um, CJM at 75. Russell Westbrook at 72. Like, there's a good mid-tier range of guys here. Yeah. Um, Giddy's likely going to triple-double here. <laughs> we're, like, in the start. We're one minute into the second half, and he's, like, we're almost there. So yeah. I expect another 50-burger out of him. You know, we'll see. It's very hard. It's very hard to predict the OKC back-to-back minutes. So um, if he's going to start, it's kind of like what I said to you on today's for uh monday's podcast or what is this tuesday for tuesday. tuesday's podcast yeah uh you know it's tough tuesday know. more tuesday podcast yeah or tuesday, tuesday podcast, podcast i said if sga was in the starting lineup i would play him um i feel the same way about giddy for tournaments it's like it's a great price if we know there's no sga and Jalen williams like it's a great spot without like he's just going to command the ball so frequently yeah um we just don't know about the minutes so gpp's do love Jamal Murray under 8K. Um, Garland, tough to get to 883. We know there's 50 fantasy point upside, but um, I don't think we need to get there. Same Like Chris Paul, again, just not going to go there. Yeah. Uh, I, I understand that there's, you know, double-double upside. I, I just don't feel the need to get there when he's taking less than 10 shots a game, and I don't think that's going to go. Like, that's... Right. Yes, he is going to take shots every so often. Um he has Kevin Durant, Devin Booker on his team, and DeAndre Ayton. Like, he is fourth fiddle offensively. Uh, Westbrook, I, I didn't understand the Memphis one. You know, good for him for coming out with a win, but, like, there was no – I think they were, like – no, did they have everyone healthy in that game? They did. The Sacramento game, nobody played, right. um, and he had 16 shots. I, you can get there, but, like, we saw a fully healthy team. They scored 135 points. Russell Westbrook? Four of nine, 24 fans. Yeah, I expect, so like, I expect more assists potentially, but I mean, yeah. seven, I just feels like he's priced appropriately. I don't know. Yeah, he's priced, he is priced appropriately. He is for sure. I agree with that. Um, I don't like the Boston guards with everybody healthy. You can pick one, but all three of them being healthy now, like, I don't know. Like, all... you know what the answer is? If you're going to pick one, you just pick Malcolm Brogdon. You think so? Yep. Okay. I, I think he's just the best fantasy point per minute one. I don't think you're like, I don't think you play any of them here with a healthy team pretty much um, because we know how, you know, 
fickle their minutes are. At least White and Brogdon's can be. Yeah. But I just think Brogdon has the best ceiling. Sure. Uh, Dylan Wright's at 52. Uh, big price bump from what we were used to paying him, but uh, he did go for 50. The steals are generally there. Against Atlanta, he played 31 minutes in that game. Only three of four shooting. Uh, did have 20 fantasy points at $4,500. And five steals again tonight, by the way. Five steals again tonight. Didn't, yeah. didn't really do. Didn't really have a great game. Um, still got to like twenty-seven fantasy points, scoring three actual because he had six assists and five steals. Sure. So um, there isn't really a lot of value though under him. I mean, th- unless someone sticks out to you on, after right at fifty-two, there I, I'm not really jumping to play any of these other guys down here. Um, Oladipo finally played well. Could be something we look at. Do we have... Oh, Kevin loves playing this game. Right? Yes. It's questionable, but it's Cleveland. <laughs> um, It's not in Cleveland, though. If Kevin Love sat... I mean, Oladipo got a, like a, a minutes bump. They started Shrews. That could directly impact Oladipo. Like, they didn't play Vincent. So maybe some Oladipo. Maybe Patrick Beverly, because he's still playing 30 minutes. But uh, nothing else jumps yeah, out to I'm me. I'm with you. Uh, shooting guard here, we got Booker at ninety five hundred dollars. He's coming off a sixty burger. Actually, guy's been ridiculous. Sixty. No, he's so good. 60. Uh, playing with Kevin Durant, he scored thirty six, thirty five, thirty seven. Actual. So didn't we talk about this? We talked about this. Like Kevin Durant is going to take a lot off your plate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if, if OKC hangs it out SGA though. So no, I don't think so. Um, tough, maybe to get up there. I don't and, mind... J- and Jalen Williams. Yeah. Well, do you think Jalen Williams plays tonight though? Or... No, they they ruled oh, them out. Okay, I ruled them out. Um, Kyrie Irving at ninety four. I mentioned I'd get to him tonight. We'll see how he plays, uh, but I, I don't mind that there. Uh, Jalen Brown, I'm fine going at ninety one. Uh, he kind of on on point with the price point for him there. Uh, Toronto's been really tough. I don't know how you feel about Paul George, but they've just been playing some really good defense. Uh, against wing players uh, zach levine feels a little expensive for me i like bradley beal at 81 i mean that's smashed not... again yeah. smashed again tonight I mean, he's, just, again. I mean, he's just just not priced correctly so 32 7 7 one steal one block bradley beal tonight. yeah he's just not pri- and that's what everybody healthy zinger and the kuzma both on the floor tonight this is a great game atlanta atlanta washington is a great game because atlanta's now have you noticed Quinn Snyder came in? Eight guys. Yeah. Playing eight guys. Doesn't care playing eight guys. Yeah, play your best players. Why are we going Agreed. 13 men deep here? Like, Agreed. What are we doing? Agreed. Agreed, OKC. Okay, Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Just play your guys. <laughs> so Bradley Beal at 81. We, we, talk, we talked all season. He was underpriced. Yep. Um, still probably a little too, too inexpensive here. So yep. uh, fine uh, go, going in that direction for sure. Um, not in on Hero against Cleveland. That's a tough matchup. Um what did you make of a Kogi the other day? Obviously not last game, nine points, but against Chicago, he still dropped 25. Yep. You, you know, so yep. just, yeah, just that's been the... more so commenting than suggesting, but if this game gets out of hand, maybe he's someone that stays on the floor. Yeah, so that's been the talk. Like, what was going to happen um, when Durant started playing and, like, when they got fully healthy and, like, was a Kogi going to start? And he's still playing a bunch of minutes. So, um, you know, he's fine. I, yeah. I will say, you know who's been fine? Trey Murphy. Yeah. 5300 is a little is like getting it's up the there, minutes, but 32, 38, 37, yep. right? Like, it's yep. Fine. Starting now, actually, I take it back. Josh, I saw Josh Richardson off the injury report earlier today. So, mm, what well, if Murphy starts Richardson. over Richardson? I yeah. can, yeah. If Murphy starts over Richardson, okay. I can get there. Uh, Reddish and Hardaway are 47 and 46. Both are. Hey, what a good. Yo, know, I'm really happy for Cam Reddish. Yeah. Right, I, I don't know why he was never playing for any team that he was on, but <laughs> he's playing now. So did he score fifty last year? He had like either forty or fifty for Atlanta before yeah. he got traded. He did something like that. Yeah, like, he, had a, he had a really big game. Um, Isaiah Joe though will be chalky with no Williams and SGA. He's forty four hundred. Still gonna play twenty minutes probably, but I don't know who else they'll play. <laughs> uh, they'll find some, they'll find a creative player from uh, from somewhere. Yeah. Uh, anybody else for you? Um, no. Okay. Uh, small forward team. Uh, Tatum's at 10-3 coming off of his day off. He's got Portland here. Boston's got to start winning games. I kind of think, like, this is a spot to play Tatum at 10-3. Yeah, it's cheap, too. This is really cheap for Tatum. I mean, he was he was 11K for a little bit. The price has been coming down since the break. 
Uh, but I mean, 66, 51, 68, the last three for him in tougher spots. This should be a pretty easy matchup for him, I think. Yeah, I think I think you can get to either of these Boston guys. And I, I, I've long said, I think not having Rob Williams on the floor helps Tatum and Brown fantasy-wise. Yeah, the rebounds have been good for Just, him. dude, they've just both been so good on the glass. Like, Rob Williams is, they just have such a reliable body when Williams is down there that they just don't have anymore. So, yeah, yeah I love Tatum. Love Kevin Durant under 10K, too. Uh, Kevin Durant. I just don't know if that game. Kawhi Leonard's at 9K against Toronto. Yeah, so, yeah this is a good tier. Right. This is a great tier of guys. All right. I mean, a little revenge game-ish for Kawhi. Yep. Go there. Great tier. Uh, Great Buckets tier. is at 87. I know we talk about him all the time. Guess what he did the other day? 49 fantasy points. So, uh, yeah, listen. Jimmy Butler, man. 55, 44, 49. Under 9K. Price actually keeps dropping on him. So, yep. uh, I'm, I'm, I like it. I like the price tag. I do. Uh, Brandon Ingram's at 84. DeMar DeRozan's down to 82. Kuzma on the back-to-back at 75. Small forward's pretty loaded right now. Yeah, uh, I could play most of those. I would be okay with playing pretty much every single one of those. Yeah, I mean, DeRozan finally popped off 44 fantasy points against Phoenix there. No rebounds in that game, too. 31-6 and six only. So, uh, kind of an interesting spot for him. Um more guys in the lower tier at small forward. I the next guy I'd get to is Sadiq. Okay. At 48. I, I love that price because he's like He is in Quinn Schneider's rotation. 35, 32 minutes the last two games. 30 fantasy points in each. Yeah, dude. I, I'm with you there. So I, I That's probably where I'd go. Hunter, your boy Hunter's playing big minutes with Quinn Snyder too. Mm-hmm. Um... And then, then it's like kind of again another kind of sh- yeah. Shitty someone has to be ruled out probably for some value. Well, does like, w- does like would, Wiggins get in here at all? Like yeah, yeah. Aaron Wiggins started started. Did he start the second half? Is that like a you know that's usually like the Dagnote special where if you start the first half you don't start the second half unless your name is SGA or Giddy. Um, yeah. he did start the second half. He's actually played the most minutes yeah, for the only Thunder nine tonight. minutes for for Sarich. 13 for Joe. Um, oh, dude, I cannot wait. wait. Just, they, they're not playing this bench at all. Right? Oh, by the way, Trey, uh, Trey Mann tomorrow, could if he starts, sure. I would have interest. I'm just looking at this team right now. They're playing nine. Wait until how many people yeah. they play. <laughs> just wait for yeah. how many they play tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to be a fun one. Um, all right, top tier power forward. Yeah, you're right on Aaron Wiggins, though. That's a good yeah, I think Wiggins, I mean, but we'll see, right? Like, who knows? Who knows sure. what they got tomorrow? So, uh, we talked a lot about the power forward already. Zinger's at 89. I'll play him. Play him at 89. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about Howard getting the Siakam right now. I still can't play the 85. Just the Isn't ceiling, that crazy? Not like, there, man. a month ago, maybe, he was 10K, and we were like, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But now it's Pirtles there. Another, uh, just another implementation of a player that just, takes away from your their, his fantasy value. Yeah, 100%. Uh, mid-tier guys. Grant's got Boston. Mobley against Miami at 8K. Um, no, no one. No Al Horford no at 55, maybe. Yeah, he's been crazy. I mean, he's been really good, and he's coming he's off of a crazy. rest game. <laughs> yeah, and they probably go back to, like, um, white, smart, brown, Tatum, Horford, right? That's probably yeah, their starting five. I would five. imagine so. So I don't think um, they're gonna start Grant Williams. Yeah, since they're not running the double bigs and Horford's at the five, like he's gonna torch uh Eubanks. Yeah, so. that's what I'm feeling. Fifty five hundred and Horford's a really strong yep. play here. Yep, agreed. Um I always I always like Hunter. Um yep, you mentioned him at small forward, I think, but Yep. Yeah, um, both I mean yeah. Yeah. Um, there was only twenty minutes. So, so 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 there's a little that's what I need to that's what we're going to figure out real quick because that's a little deceiving. He was in early foul trouble. And obviously he hasn't been playing a lot and Sadiq and Hunter have been playing more. Mm-hmm. Um, but he had two for, he had two fouls in six minutes. Sadiq subbed in for him. Okay. So Hunter, it looks like Sadiq is the beneficiary of Collins. Okay. Why, why did, so Washington played Kispert today over Denny. I mean, Kispert had 16 points. Denny had four Kispert. fouls. Did Denny had four fouls? Maybe that's why. 
Yeah. Gafford only played 25 minutes tonight. And then Kispert yeah, the, played 32, and Denny played 21, but had four fouls. So Washington, another team that's shrinking their rotation, clearly, because yeah. they're yeah. currently in the playoff hunt. Um, But they actually did this two games in a row with Kispert. Okay. I think Kispert's played... I think he's played... Yeah, he played 36 against... Uh, He's actually now played 30 minutes in three straight games. He played... 35 against Toronto, 36 against Milwaukee, and now 32. He's actually now scored double figures in four points. I was going to say, like, games. Is the, is at $3,200? Yeah, maybe. And he has GOAT, and it's the GOAT MPE, GOAT multi-position eligibility. Right? Keyword. So I'm just wondering, you know, just wondering maybe. if there's a, good a call. guard there, right? Yeah, it's a good call. And I don't think it, like, with the way that, and, and Kuzma played 35 minutes, so I don't suspect he's injured, but back-to-back, he was injured yeah. previously. If someone were to sit for Washington, Kispert's only going to benefit from that even more. Yeah, Zinger did fall out of this game, too. I don't know when. He played 32 minutes, fouled out. Um, <laughs> may, maybe he, he maybe he got a sub in. I can try to pull up the game log here and see when that one went down. Um, to see who subbed in for him. I imagine it was probably fourth quarter or late. Um, let's see here. Did we get a zinger foul? Um, okay, yeah, he fouled out 50 seconds ago in the game. So Gafford, okay, yeah, so it Ga- didn't Gafford, but Gafford wasn't in that game, so they had a closing lineup with Zinger at the five. With Zinger at the five, yeah. Uh, Kuzma entered for Denny at 6:35. Um, so Kuzma, deal on right, Porzingis, Beal, and Kispert. It must have been Kispert. Because they could just play Kuzma at the four, and you could play... Um... Yeah, it had to, had to be Kispert, because I'm not seeing... It was. It was yeah. Kispert. Yep. So Kispert played, like, the whole, f- whole fourth, I guess? Yeah, Kispert enters for Bradley Beal 12 minutes to go uh, to open the fourth quarter. He never checked out of the game. He didn't. It doesn't look like he checked out. He played the entire. He played the entire fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. Danny played the first six minutes. So Are you popcorn machine. This? Have you already seen this? Or no, I'm playing. I'm looking at um. The uh, they don't have they don't have the popcorn machine. Yet. Got it. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, sidetracked on Kispert there, but 3200 on a slate like this, maybe a little. That's a good find. Him. That's a good find. Good um. Find. I know we were talking about power forwards, but I was looking at Denny, then I just wanted to see what the, how he played tonight. But Kispert's popping there a little bit. So, um, Any other power forwards then? Like, Reggie Bullock is playing boatloads of minutes. If you wanted to take a dart throw, yeah. that's fine. Um, we're going to... F- OKC has three power forwards that are in play. Like, dude, it's they're just impossible to talk about. They're just impossible because like they're all, they all Sarge could play forty minutes. He used to play for OKC. Who's yeah. to say he doesn't play f- literally forty minutes, right? Um, so I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't think there's anything else down here. Um, but we're we're it's OKC if there is anything. Sure. Probably. All right, center spot. Joker's at eleven six. Man took eight shots the other day. Still nearly triple doubled. Um, not gonna tell you not to never play uh, Jokic here, but yeah. uh, get uh, get Chicago. At home. I mean that was a tough spot. We talked about Toronto being, you know, they're they're good defensively. Yeah, yep. They're they much yeah. improved, especially with Pirtle with Pirtle in the in the middle of that defense. Like they are, they're pretty good defensively. Yeah, no, for sure, hundred percent. Um, Bam against Cleveland feels like a tough spot for him. Uh, but he's been, yeah. I mean, he's good though. I mean, he's, he's very consistent, and the, the price is nice, right? Like eight K, low eight K is a nice price for Bam. Yeah. Kind of where I'm at with it. Um, Book on the other side. Eaton dealing with all those guys there. Just no that chance that at. game's... St- I just... How's that game stick? Pirtle, I guess, 66. Right? Yeah, Pirtle 66 um, is a pretty good. good one. The minutes were great. They're just so weird. Like 34 minutes for Capella I against know. Miami. Dude, I get... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. I, have, I have a lot of interest mid-tier. Okay, I have I like Valanciunas. Thirty-two minutes upon returning. Yeah, thirty-two minutes. Why? I don't know. Nobody but they play him thirty-two minutes. Yeah. Won't happen. Forty. Again, but we'll take four, <laughs> Forty-two fantasy points definitely in play for GPPs if he's going to play thirty minutes. Hurdle thirty minutes. Forty fantasy points. 
you know, one rebound shy of a double double. We know that's in the bag. Mm-hmm. And you mentioned Capella, dude. Quinn Snyder rotation. I've said it all the time. If I'll say it a hundred times if I have to. Like, if he's gonna play Capella thirty minutes, Capella's just a fantasy, like yeah. a, a great fantasy producer if he's playing thirty plus minutes. So, yeah, 100%. um. I like the mid tier, and you mentioned Horford too, who has multi position yeah, eligibility. Yeah, could definitely play Horford. Could play Gafford, even though Zinger closed that one out. Yeah, um, I'm a little, I'm a little less probably on the Gafford okay. train with like a healthy Kuzma. We saw, like, if Kuzma sat, sure, there's thir- I think there's thirty minute upside. If he doesn't, I, I think he's kind of capped. Okay, uh, Jalen Williams started tonight. Would you go back to Jalen Williams at thirty <laughs> seven? They're gonna start JRE tomorrow, so I don't know, probably. like. Dude, I don't like I I I don't know how to I like I wish I could give you like legit answers because like that's no what I know doing. listen these are tough these are tough uh, tough OKC okay, yeah. specific it's like OKC okay, specific though like I wish I could give you guys a better we just need to wait until we get more clarity on who's in and who's out for OKC sure. because like Jalen Williams is 19 years old he should be able to play 35 minutes a night but he one night he plays 23 next night he plays 14 you know. Yeah. I, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, all right, Gil, give it to me then. We got Trey Young already locked in. Where is our center spot? Oof. Um. Well, are we prob- We're probably living in that mid range, right? That's yeah. Prob- I mean, I'm playing. I, I like Horford. Do we want him as a power forward or a center though? Or a so, forward or a center? Well, my thinking is, I dude, I really like Atlanta, Washington. Okay. I mean, Horford does have the power forward center, so we can play him in four spots. Yeah, um, let's use Horford power forward or forward just to, and then we can move him to center if we want to use one of those guys. Okay. I felt like power forward wasn't the best, especially yeah. in like the yeah, mid tier. We, we liked Tatum. Or yeah, we liked Tatum. Durant. We didn't think Durant was gonna last long enough. Yeah, probably, probably not. Um, uh, I, I liked, I feel like I liked the value better at power forward, mainly, uh, Hunter or Bay Sure. were like the two guys. Um, and, and if, Ke- if Kevin Love sat, Caleb Martin was really, really good the other night too. Mm-hmm. Um, tough spot though. Yep. What do you think for center? Um, I kind of like Pirtle. I do. Kind of like Pirtle? Yeah. I'm game. Okay. I mean, he has he has a lot of upside. Yeah, I like that. Especially like if he's going to play 6600. Clippers are playing traditional centers now with Zubats and um like he's a Bumley. better all he's just a better offensive player than Capella. Capella has better rebounding upside, but I just feel like the ceiling might be higher on Pirtle. I agree. Ceiling on Pirtle is higher, especially cuz he's really really good defensively too. Yeah. Like blocks and steals, he's he's very good in it. Yeah, that's where I'm that's kind of how I'm feeling. Uh, alrighty, fifty eight hundred dollar player. I know we had some value. Da- I mean, did you want to just go Kisper just to save the money? Um, go to GameStack and use Beal and Kisper. Yeah, good. Could do that. Is that is that you like that idea I, or? I, honestly, I'm fine going Kisper just because he's so cheap. Yeah. So, um, you know, Beal being on a back to back doesn't really bother me all that much. So, um. Where do we live? We had some value. Do we have... There's a mid-tier guard. Or do we not really care for the guard spots? I don't think... Maybe we didn't really like much of this guard play. I don't think so. Of, like, Trey. Wasn't that kind of where we were, how we were feeling on this one? Um, The point guards were... Yeah. We didn't necessarily... We liked small forward was the position that we were keen on. Uh, Because we had Tatum, Durant, Brown, Leonard, George, Butler. Like, that AK and above was kind of low. Would you go Isaiah Joe at 44, assuming he... I I don't want to build with OKC today. Okay. I I just, like, I I know. Is he going to sit with SGA and Jalen Williams ruled out? I don't know. (laughs) They could play Lindy Waters. They could play Lindy Waters 40 minutes tomorrow. Sure. You know, like, seriously, they could literally play Lindy Waters, like, 40 minutes, and would it surprise you? Sort of, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. 
Uh, well, we have 6K for a guard forward in utility. So, like if you want to play Isaiah Joe, if you want to, if you want to play him in this situation, it's fine. I'm just trying to think it, about it, like where we're if we what we could do to get to another guy. All right, um, we can't play Tatum. Butler not, would Butler I, would give us a forty seven hundred dollar utility. If we wanted Butler versus Cleveland, though, kind of a tough spot. Yeah, we don't need to go to Butler. We uh, could play JB. Just play Brown instead. Okay, Brown over Tatum is a forty three hundred dollar utility. Um. I didn't think we really had to. The thing is, we don't really have many other under 4K yeah. plays. Yeah, there's not there's not anything um, well, currently. Yeah, this is where we can pivot then. Let's go from... Let's go down to Capella. And then go to Isaiah Joe. No, we, I have him in there already, but a $4,600 okay. utility is like Tim Hardaway Jr., DeAndre Hunter, would you like? Yeah, so, little, little uh, Atlanta stack. Yeah, yeah. Do you want Hunter or THJ? Um... Hunter Hunter feels good. Okay. Um, so, hundred bucks left over. We got a little, little game stack there. Washington, Atlanta. Trey Young, Bradley Beal, Corey Kispert, Clint Capella, uh, Al Horford, Isaiah Joe, Jalen Brown, DeAndre Hunter is our current lineup build here. Recording again here Tuesday evening, Wednesday. James is on the playbook. He'll have all the news and updates for everybody as we hit the slate. We'll be in the Discord all day if you have any questions. Good luck. Catch you guys on Thursday.